Hi everybody. I want to thank you for joining me here at uh, Making Memories with Melody. And I'm uh, going to work on cracking open a new... Let me get all these little uh, things tightened up so that we get to see the whole paper pack. Usually I like to work uh, close to what I'm doing. But uh, this paper pack's large and I wanted you to see the whole thing. So uh, I bought this a bit ago and um, I wanted to work in it. And so this happens a lot, right? We're in the store or online and we find a paper pack that we just love or uh, we really feel we could uh, be creative with. Um, and so here I am. Hi, Jade Moon. Here I am going to break it open. And how many times do we do that? And we're like, okay, what do you do with it? Well, I don't know. But I'm going to go through this with you guys. I like that the companies that are taking the back of the front page and creating um, something on it. This one um, hasn't, but some of them do. And that's something to look forward or for in a, in a company when you're buying them. Because that's wasted real estate right there, right? That's what I think. But I do think all of these could be cut out and have something done with them. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so. What this pack has is, I'm pretty sure, 24 double-sided papers, two sheets of each design. So I got to decide, and this is a lilac, lush, lush lilac collection. I am very partial to purples, and um, when I seen this, I thought, oh my goodness, I want to I wanna work with that. So, but I'm looking at this, because I'm thinking, what what are the actual pages now this is an actual page that i could work with this is an actual page that i could work with so i'm separating out the pages back on the <laughs> ephemera from the ones that can be made into journal pages or pamphlet journals or envelopes so you know this is more that's more ephemera. All right, there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ephemera in this. I'm actually a little surprised that the only actual pages I'm seeing out of 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, well, six of them. Now, one of these uh, could end up being the cover of my, um, let's say, pamphlet. Let's say I decide to make a pamphlet journal. One signature, soft cover, pamphlet stitch journal out of this. And I will pick the size I want and then cut off the portions that won't go with what I'm doing. But let's say that I want to make... Maybe this one the cover. Unless this one's better. I'm thinking I like I like this one. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to score it. Hmm. Or not because I need my score. Anywho. Hi, Tammy. Hi, hi, hi. I'm going to fold this in half. This is what I want to make the cover out of. So to fold it in half, it's going to give me six inches wide. All right. And I like this one for the cover because this is what my cover will look like right here. And I am thinking I'm going to cut it. I'll show you. Um, let's see. Go by inches. So I think nine inch would be good, six by nine. I like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this to cut the pages down to what I want them to be. So um, I'm going to have to kind of wing it though because this uh, doesn't go as wide. So right about there. There we go. Now, this is the cover to my pamphlet journal that I'm going to make out of this paper kit. 
And again, in case you've showed up, um, this is the paper kit that I'm working with, paper packed. And like I said, this is, um, we, we buy things like this all the time. And we're not, you know, it's like, well, what do you do with it? Well, this is one of the things you can do with it. So now what I have here is the opportunity to use more of these pages, which what I could do is fold this in half. Let's see, fold this in half. I would normally try to score it first, but I, I misplaced my score. And this is um, not too hard to fold this in half, so I'm not stressed about it by any means. I wanted to say that this that I make right now is going to be the prize for my 300 subby. So what I was going to do to do this different is um, cut the other end off, right? So that the page doesn't look like it's the exact same page inside of there. That's a little trick you can do to uh, get more variety into your... I'm going to do just a little less because I don't want the inside pages to be quite as tall as the cover. I can always cut off a little bit more if I need to. So now I have my cover. I have a secondary page, which, or a second page, which is um, not going to be just like that. These are all going to become tags and booklets and things. So you always, call, you always save those off to the side. This one, this one, I'm going to use these two and then put these two aside for another project. And I will fold this in half. You know, sometimes um, back when I was making cards, lost my scissors in the craft tornado that's currently in my living room. Oh, you poor thing. Scissors, you need to have 50 pairs so something like that. Doesn't hold you down, girl. Can't hold you down. So now I got to decide. I got the, the um, label off there, but do I like the birds? or the cottage and I kind of like the birds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cottage off this page can be um, a little bit different height than the rest so I think I'm going to cut this cottage off like this I could actually use that in something just like that I can make a little booklet and this is okay to be a little bit less it's okay to be a different size so there's that now let's look at this one and again this one i'm going to cut off the bottom because that is gorgeous but let's fold this in half and um but back in when i was making cards i bought cardstock and never really utilized all of the accessories that came with it until i started doing junk journaling and so that's been uh it's been a, a pleasure to look at things in a, in a different eye, you know. But um, let me cut this off. And then I want to make it about this height. So I can, I can go up a little bit. I don't really need any of them to be the same. That's, uh, that's why I'm doing this so that you guys can see that you can still make a junk journal with beautiful papers and all that. And still, as long as you kind of throw some variety in there of size and texture and that, this isn't, this one will go here, in my opinion. These go wherever you want them, but in mine, those go there. And I am going to cut this ridge off here um, uh, when I get a little closer to seeing just how many pages are in there. I won't know how much to cut off now all of this is the ephemera that's going to go in there beautiful stuff that I can add cut out fussy cut all of that but underneath all of this I actually grabbed some uh, fun stuff from my stash and wanted to show you what can be done with it now this is a page out of a book right um, this can get folded in like this and we'll see what needs to get cut off. It looks like a bit off the top. So, 
let's do a little bit more than a bit because I, I really want them to have some space between themselves. <laughs> so to say, such pretty papers. Thank you, Jade. You know what I love is uh, is lilacs. It's just something I've always loved lilacs. I have lilacs out in my yard. Okay, there we go. There we go. So there's that page. Now, these, if you've done scrapbooking, if you've done card making, guys, you're going to have these kind of papers. That's just the way it works. These are not necessarily what you see in people's creations to do with junk journaling, but these, it can be altered. And these are some of the ways that you can alter them. So I'm going to take this napkin and I'm going to separate it. Possibly. And uh, if I can't, then I'll do something else. I'll get tape, a piece of tape. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so there we go. Now we, now that's a, another getting back to the basics of how to take napkins apart. And some of them are more fragile than others. So when you're doing this, you'll rip them if you're not careful. Some of them are pretty durable and you can just take it off like that, no problem. Easy peasy, as my friend Misty says. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff I have underneath here. Set it right there. And I wanted to keep this piece of paper. And I'm going to do this. Okay, so I use Yoohoo. You can use whatever glue stick that you use. You know, every brand has its um, has its upsides. Some have their downsides, but pretty much all works well enough. Well enough. Now I'm only going to do a portion at a time because I don't want to uh, sit and wrestle this thing. Right? Just want to get it down. I don't mind some wrinkles. Wrinkles add character to a lot of things. Me, for instance. I have wrinkles and I have lots of character. <laughs> All right, so glue stick these down. This is decoupaging or collaging uh, if you were to do multiple different pieces, but um, taking a napkin and putting it on a piece of paper with glue is, I'm pretty sure technically, decoupaging. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I love YouTube Tuesday. That is the best day of the week. It used to be my favorite day of the week was Wild Wednesday, but I had gotten so off track with my mixed media that uh, it just isn't as much of a steady part of my life. But this YouTube Tuesday, I really try to keep it involved. Now, this is the other thing that I'm going to do. Now, if you don't have these products, then, you know, you could use maybe an ink. Um, but I happen to have a purple. Um, it was um, made with markers and then enhanced with uh, Ranger inks and mica powder. So I want to enhance this so that it's not quite so bold white. So I'm just going to spray this on there in a random way to get some dots and some mica powder on there. And then I'm going to get my heat gun. So this part of getting back to the basics, what this is referring to is taking a piece of paper that you may not feel has the look and feel of what you want to put in your junk journal because you've seen so many of the ladies have so much fancy dancy stuff. Take those papers, alter them, repurpose them, use them. Don't waste them. So this one wasn't something that would normally be thought of. Now it actually would go really well on, uh, it could get darkened up a bit more and go really well on that Alice in Wonderland um, of the Graphics 45 because of the, the um, checkerboard 
there's some checkerboard prints in there. Anyway, so now I'm cutting off the edge of the tissue of the napkin. I'm gonna get a nice edge here. If you see any of your edges lifting, fix it. Fundamentals are very important in the getting back to the basics. I want everyone to understand how much more important it is to do a good job than a pretty job because the pretty 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 stuff will come in time you'll figure out styles and um, co combination of colors and combinations of textures but if you don't have your fundamentals and it falls apart it, it's it still won't look pretty okay so when you're doing this and you see anything lifting up take the time to glue it back down so I'm going to look around and I go like this and you know it almost happens every time that something is lifting now there's a there's just enough there that would bother me so i'm going to take some i don't know if this will come out oh, but it will if i take this off my uh, metal lid is is um clogged there we go so now we've got that set down really nice and I'm going to come in with the scissors, cut this edge off, now lilacs mean spring to me and that's why I picked the doil or the um, napkin that I have here, the, um, the uh, tulips because they say spring to me too. So I got kind of a theme going. Okay, so there is a page. This page is um, ready to have all kinds of other things done to it. It's not completely done. It's just the right size. Let me get the let me get this little pamphlet book. We might end up making two signatures out of it if we get it too bulky, right? Okay, there we go. So let's look and see where would this go. Now we don't have to make these decisions right away, but um, what I'm thinking is, is that I probably would like this up against this would work the best in my eye and then we can go from there. Okay, so there's that page. Now we have this one. That's an option. But what this one does is this one is too, um, like postcard size. I think they're five and a half by something. What do we got here? We have, yeah, five and a half. Five and a half by eight and a half. So what if we, what if we put them back to back and then glued them together and made pockets out of them. Okay, so let's do that. We'll set it aside and then I'll show you what that exactly means. So we'll do this. The cool thing about this one is whoever wins it will um, have some really good examples of techniques and uh, ephemeras because we're going to do this. We're going to do this for a couple weeks, however long it might take me to get to 300. It might take me quite a while. I've been hovering at 250 something for for a bit, so I got time. I got time on my hands. Okay, so now it's glued, it's ready, and what we can do to this, the same as we did the other, is we can start to spray a little bit just to give it some color, right? And then we can um, distress the edges and we could add um, something on there. Let's see, we have some different things that. Uh, when it comes time and we want to maybe layer up, we could start layering with some of these items. So there's that. I won't put it in there right now. This purple is pretty, pretty. And let's get the cutter out. I don't usually quite use so much cardstock. Um, I usually do more page type. Let me see what this is going to end up being so that I can cut it off a little bit more. Or, you know, another thing to do, I'll show you. 
especially if your um, if your edges are going to stick out of your book, which no, it's going to be fine, but um, is doing a, a punch, punching the edges. I'll show you like this. So this one is, I don't know. Oh, here it is, Martha Stewart. All right, so what I do is I watch through the back and I take that little lid off because I don't like it there because then it will make it to where I can't see. And I have, I have had friends that uh, have had trouble with these things. So I line it up to this edge right here, All right? I punch, then I line it again up to that edge. And I punch until I'm done. And then if you have anything that does, you just pop it off like that. But so there's there's a decorative edge. And I could, say, put a piece of washi tape here. Boy, we're going to just do so many fun little things all in this one. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. This washi tape I got from... Um, Eyelet, eyeletoutlet.com is what I think it is. And it's really, really, really pretty. I want to make sure I don't tear it anymore. I want to make this little gift prize as special as I can for the, for the people who helped me get to 300, right? I don't want to, I don't want to make this too bland. I want to give you guys something to be excited about. Excited. So let's do this. Let's see if I can get it as straight as possible. There we go. How pretty is that? Now we're going to take this and we're going to trim off the edges. And this was just a piece of plain card, purple lavender cardstock. And so far we've. Um, Trimmed up the edge to give it a decorative edge. We've got washi tape on this one to give it a decorative look. So already this is something special and we didn't hardly put any, I mean, it didn't take a lot of technique or a lot of supplies. Um, and there's so many other ways it can be done. I had this, but I don't think I'm gonna add it because I'm just not wanting so many stiff papers in there. So I'm gonna put this one aside and I am gonna, I am gonna add this one and I'll tell you why, because um this is a magazine that i have a hold of that i just thought was really 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 pretty and i um liked it so i'm gonna add it because that's what junk journals are about is when something comes in your mail or you find it uh, you know somewhere that it grabs your eye and it makes you feel happy that's why you would add it to a junk journal not only because it matches or because it's what you've seen someone do it's um supposed to induce joy so here you go i've covered up the upc coat because i didn't like that but i do like everything else and i'm even going to leave that because that's okay so i'm going to fold this in half and give it a light fold because what i want to do is on the inside i'm going to i'm going to reinforce this with a washi tape that would match and look nice and I'm looking, 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 and I'm thinking, well, let's do this girl. She's kind of an, an Asian-inspired younger girl, but uh, we kind of have this fancy washi in here. We might as well do it, do it all the way, right? Just so get to see her lip them a little bit. Oh, come on, oh, I might have a wrinkle. Well, I've lived with wrinkles before. I guess I can do it again. Okay, I like to tear it. I know you could cut it and, and whatnot, but I don't know. It's just something about the tear. It's because it's because I can, I guess, huh? Washi tape is pretty easy to work with that way. All right, so now I have opened a paper pack right and I used some of the pages in it 
cut them to the sizes that saved me some images and then used the images that I wanted. I also have a magazine page. Okay, that's actually a cover. Now, this is something that's always an option, and this is a book page out of a really large book. Really large book. And so it's too big, but I like the background, and I was thinking. Uh, between the purple spray and some other altering uh, techniques that we could do that um, Let me put these away That we could get it down to the size that we want Let's see Let's go eight inches because, like I said, we don't want them too exact. Not exactly uh, the theme of this particular one. Now, this is six inches wide, so I'm going to go just under. Okay, so now I have this. And I have some more scraps that I can use. Those will be the scraps you save, will be what you use. Um, don't throw your vote away on Hewitt. Oh, I'm going to cover that with washi tape for sure because I wasn't intending on... And I have this cute washi tape that I bought because a friend of mine likes cats. And I thought, I need to bring cats more into my life. So let's... It's got a purple kitty in there. Let's bring this in. It covers up the words a little bit. And then... But you, they're more... Just, you, you're distracted by the kitties. Okay, so it feels like the theme of this is going towards um, purples, flowers, maybe a little, little randomness in there. But um, definitely the purple. And we're gonna, I'm gonna stencil and do some other things, but that's for the next, um, the next videos. So I just want to finish it in the pages that we're going to use in this and then we'll um, really quickly look over the um, ephemera that that the pack offers because that's what's important too is, is that we have what we've chosen our ephemera uh, I think we might not be off on this one very far hi how are you how about it well it could be in there but I'm going to just take off the rough edge maybe Maybe, maybe. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside. So, at this point, what we're looking at is a one signature uh, cardstock cover pamphlet junk journal. And it has um, everything from a music page, uh, cardstock from the paper pack, because that's what the, that's what the whole, um, this series uh, of, uh, Getting back to the basics is about breaking open a paper pack and looking at it through. Um, I'm doing great. Thank you. Looking at it through the eyes of junk journaling, right? So these can do so many things, scrapbooking, paper crafting, all of that and card making. But as far as actually making a junk journal, this would be the direction uh, that would be uh, available. So there's the cover, there's a music page, there's um, this one, which I have, you know, I have, I can round these corners. I can do all kinds of things to them. Might as well do it while I'm, while I'm getting this far. So I'm going to throw this in here because I'm going to be um, distressing the edges and uh, adding corner tucks and things. And I can, I can um, do the same thing with those pages. But to have it quite so blunt just isn't um, as attractive to me. So that's why I go ahead and round them. But that's my personal preference. And always remember your personal preference is just as beautiful. Just as beautiful. This is a uh, way to everybody, everybody be unique. Okay, so 
There is that, that, and that. And then I'm going to put this uh, text uh, book page in there that's been sprayed. Then I'll put the purple. Then I have the goddess. Then I have the magazine page or the book page with the flower. Then I have the decoupage uh, regular paper that um, a lot of times wouldn't have get used in something like this. And then I have the center here, which I may do this. I always like to have my center kind of have a have a story, you know. It opens up to have an uh, either a, a spread or a okay. The pages that are closer to the center will poke out more if they're all the same length. That's just what happens. So, and I can get those a little bit, a little bit less. Now, here's my cover. I have a music page. I have a slightly different size page here. Plus we have um, things like this that can go in. The cutoffs of your pages can go in in stages like that. And I'll round those corners. And then there was this one too. So and then we have this. We can put this in here. This is the one that I'm going to make pockets out of right here pocket on each side to hold things then our magazine page which I can flip this way which I think I will and then she shows first then I have that page that decoupage page and then our center this would be an example of me opening up a paper pack and grabbing from the stash I have from when I was doing card making and uh, scrapbooking. That's upside down. Let me fix that. Just focused in on it. Okay, so this part is done. Now this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. I usually don't do less than ten pages unless I'm trying for some reason to make it smaller okay there's that now for example though i brought this to show you if you were making a book this would be a signature inside of this book and you would make multiples of them okay so that's that too now let me get these papers back up here where we can start to decide on some of the ephemera because i'm going to go ahead and stop at about 40 minutes i think I don't want these to be so long that people can't uh, fit them in their day. So these are tags that I would definitely use. These are too big for my book. So let me just cut these off really quick so that I know I'm going to be using these. And I'm not great at cutting a straight line, but I can also cut them apart and then recut the line with my guillotine so that I uh, don't give a you know a bad bad cut okay so and then this one these are the upsides these are the sideways these are too big I like the sideways ones so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off oh and there's some words here um, it's your special day. Sending love your way. Special hug for you. Have a beautiful day. You are my everything. Wow. How romantic. Very, very romantic. Definitely not the theme of this particular junk journal, though, so I won't grab that. Alrighty, so actually I wanted to put this one here and take this one over here. Now that's the same. These are different, but I don't need a ton of those. So let me just look and make sure what the other options are. See, I have these, and I really like these two. So I am going to bring those out and use them because there, there will be journaling cards. These are cool. I like these tags. I'm going to definitely cut those out.
Okay, so I won't use this, but I am going to use them. So where does that leave me? I already have that one. I already just went with this one. Um, too big. Not too bad here. Okay. I'll go ahead. I might not use every one of these. Wow, how are they? How did they expect you to see that line? Just blended right into each other the way you can't even tell which one's which. Okay, so let's see. Let's move these aside. These are all too big, too big, too big, too big. These are not too big. Let's look at these. This is kind of cool. So I might just keep this page out because I like a lot of these um, for layering. Just a note, I like that one. Um, special Wishes is kind of cute, I like that one. These stamps are awesome. Can you, can you imagine those um, distressed and uh, glittered up and then layered up on, on tags and things? That's really, really pretty opportunity there. So I'm going to cut. No, well, I'm not going to cut it out right now. Anyway, so I'm going to put these pages away when I uh, get done with this video. These pages will get put away with my card stocks. Um, I am not as organized as some people I've seen, and I would like to get more organized, but I would be able to find it again if I tried. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set this book aside because that's not part of what we're doing. That was just an example of how this could be a signature inside of a book, right? So I have about two minutes. So what I wanted to say is thank you so much for joining me with this. And if you watch it afterwards, um, please leave comments below to let me know if you have any questions or anything. And when, we, when I come back next Tuesday, I will work on the ephemera for this uh, prize for the 300 subby giveaway when I hit 300 subbies and it is a 10 page uh, lavender uh, lilacs and looks like uh, butterflies and birds maybe um, signature pamphlet junk journal thingy to bobber cutesy thing and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in um, how to break open a paper pack and start a uh, simple and basic. And I say simple and basic not because this isn't uh, fabulous, because uh, you're not sewing in multiples, you're not uh, creating multiples. That's the term I'm using for. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.